Good morning and welcome. It is Sunday the 5th of June. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, as you can see, back to normal procedures here. The laptop is back, normal format. Um, coming up today, we've got a review of yesterday. We've got a £10 bet today. This is the second time I've made the video. I've made the full video, did everything, about to press upload and I had a non-runner. And in another race, a non-runner had caused another problem. So we've redone the bet, redone the whole video. So there's probably some absolute genius pearls of wisdom shared in the last video that I won't do this time. Um, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I've got a £10 bet and then we'll have a word on the golf. I guess the first thing to say before we go into anything else is... I don't know when it's going to end, but this is a terribly painful run right now. Um, outside of channel life, I'm used to runs like this and it happens and you just roll with it. And that's why I don't get massively excited when we have decent wind days. But equally, you, you just learn to become a little bit immune, unless it's something off the scale brilliant. Um, because lots of days are bad and you go on lots of bad runs and you just kind of get, 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 get on with it. Um, I have to say to you, it's so much more painful when you're putting out a channel uh, and you know that other people are following your tips. Um, and yeah, it's just frustrating. And I know the vast majority of you really understand that you go through good runs and you go through bad runs. And I've advertised well that we will hit some bad runs. We're now firmly in the worst run on the channel in terms of money's length. So we are two weeks since we last, two weeks last Sunday since we last had a, a win. Um, we've had one horse win since then at 15 to 8, which is absolutely dire. Um, so, yeah, really, really poor run. Um, I'm used to it, but it feels a lot more painful uh, when you know other people are following what you're doing. I 100% understand you are all adults. You all have a choice about whether you follow the bets. You just watch the channel. You just want to have a coffee and hear me chunter on about stuff. Entirely up to you. It is all free after all. It doesn't stop me feeling a little bit uh, when uh, when we just keep keep missing missing the goal on so many days in a row. There endeth the uh, mini monologue about how bad it is. Um, and I want it to change for Ascot. Please, I want it to change for Ascot. As Ascot's one of my one of my best weeks of the year usually in terms of I look forward to it. I have a nice record at Ascot, so I'm not saying when I get to Ascot everybody like lump on and follow me. But I normally do well at the festivals. Um, and obviously those of you watching at Chest Ch Cheltenham, we did decent at Cheltenham. So um, at Ascot, I'm doing two videos a day, as I've said before. So we will do a video the night before. Um, so it's uh, going to be a £40 stake per day for Ascot on medium risk, which will be the night before video. So it'll be the, that'll be the extra little video. The normal video for £20 a day with high risk accumulators will also exist. So we are doing double videos for Ascot uh, in a week's time. So let's hope we get it changed for them. Anyway, yesterday, what did we get? I think 30 on, 16.69 back I've got. So I've got it as a 13.31 loss. We got something on every bet, but nothing on any bet to make a profit. So Fairy Tale Bliss was poor. Supreme Vinny was mid-pack. mid, mid -pack. Royal Tribute, non-runner. Walk in the Walk, SP to eights placed. Um, Hopefully most of you got a bit of a better price, but it wouldn't have made a massive great deal of difference. It is a single place on that one. Bet two was the one that looked like it was going to do something. Um, Atoll Blair Boy placed. The Greatest Showman had a terrible start and an unbelievably made up ground to come seventh, which Skybet paid. So if you were Skybet, you got the double on there and there was the additional double on that bet too. Um, so if you were Skybet, that was the place to be on yesterday. You got a bit more money back. Um, their raw patronage was poor and mascot was poor. So that was all it was there. So, yeah, Skybet customers would have done much better on that bet than anybody else. And then we had Bet3. Helvation didn't get there. Miss Marble ran OK but didn't place. Westover ran a cracker, 25 to 1. Bergerac was poor. So it was only the single on Westover that we had the additional single and the single in the lucky 15. And then this bet across the channel uh, wasn't there. Western Sapphire ran great, second 16 to 1 in a 6 runner, so that was nice, but then neither of the Musselboro horses could get make the frame. So, all in all, as I said, I think it was 16 69 back from 30, 13 31 loss. We are now 49 down for this week, so we were down last week, down the week before, so we are heading for three weeks uh, in a row of being down, which has not happened on the channel. What have we got to try and change it today? This is my 
one and only bet. I thought I would find a lot more today than I actually did. Um, so this is where we've got to. As I said, <laughs> this is better, better attempts number two uh, after non-runners and things have gone out. So we are starting at the three o'clock in Chantilly over in France, Imperial Fighter. We took it in the Irish 2000 Guineas. We're going again in the Prix de la Jockey Club. Um, so if you are betting online, you need to scroll down quite a bit sometimes to find uh, Chantilly because um, it isn't doesn't come up in the first few lists. So Imperial Fighter, and I'm taking the SP. It looks like it's been backed in already this morning, um, but be, the, the the French market changes all the time. So I'm just going to take SP um, because I think it could fluctuate. So I'd be happy enough with the price it is now, but I think we'll we'll take SP to be on the safe side for that one. So SP on Imperial Fighter. And then second leg, uh, 440 Listwell. It's the only Irish one I've got in today. I've got Transition. Watch out on that one. So Pre de Jockey Club, that is five places on Sky for everybody else. Transition has now got non-runner in that 440. So it is four on Sky, but Bet 365, Bet Fair, and maybe 888, I think, are all five places. So you can get one extra place there elsewhere, one extra place with Sky Bet there. So it's it's... It's one of those ones where Skybet are just going to come out ahead because the third leg is an extra place, but but you can get a benefit of other hook races on, on uh, other extra places with other bookmakers that way. So I think it 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 will probably it probably will matter, but I'm going to say it doesn't matter at the moment which bookmaker you put it on. I think um, overall, if you're going to get best price guaranteed, then I think probably Bet three six five might might win out today. Um, so we've got Transition paying four on Skybet and then the 445 Muscleborough, Alia Choice. That's currently paying five on Skybet, but one more non-runner and that'll go down to four anyway, 10 to one. And then the 615, I've split it. Dutch Decoy and Dan Zan, both had them in our bets before, nines and tens. So I've done it. There's two 15p each way lucky 15s. So that is legs one, two and three the same. Leg four is Dutch Decoy. And then... On the second bet, legs one, two, and three, the same. Dan Zan is leg four. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we've got an additional two doubles, both Imperial Fighter going on to Dutch Decoy and Dan Zan. So we are stacked a little bit on Imperial Fighter there. Um, and we'll see how we go. So that is the bet for today. The outlet for this week, there's there's bits and bobs this week. Nothing particularly special. It's that one of those, it's the, you know, the week before a big festival. So... Um, so I'm not expecting it to be a big betting week this week, um, and noting that the week after Ascot we will obviously be going much bigger. Um, that is what I've got there. So golf, um, good and bad, I think, really. The lucky 15, it looks a bit sunk now. Um, so uh, Connor Syme hasn't made up any ground on Scott Jameson's. He's going to get placed uh, for Scottish, but he might be the only one because Jeff Winther had a six-shot advantage going into today. Uh, and there's been an eight shot swing I think he is finished four over for the day um, the other day and I can't remember who it was is it was behind him is now finished four under for the day so he's now going to Jeff Winther will finish fourth best Dane and out of the places if he didn't do the bet with Sky Bet and he took the other the, the bit of advice and did it um, with Betfair or Paddy and he did Siwoo Kim he's currently second I think as far as I can see a second best Asian so um, you've got chances if it's if it's the other way. Um, but then the other one we've got now is David Lingworth. And he's now fourth best continental European. But he's four shots behind um, the next two. So we, we need a bit of a swing today if we're going to get anything from David Lingworth on there. That would make a big, big difference to the bet if, if David Lingworth can come top two. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and then in terms of the singles and the Trixie, um, as we know, Ashley Chester was terrible and missed the cut. And then we're down to Cantlay and Job, who are both in the mix. So we've got chances of, of getting a return on that. So we just need to kind of see. And that's uh, kind of kicking off at tea time tonight. That is the golf. All right, I'm going to leave it there because this is the second video. And this is already long. And the first video is even longer. So I've saved you some time. All right. Enjoy your Sunday. I will be back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. And eventually we will turn the tide. Thanking you. See you in the morning. Cheerio.